Hi there, welcome to Wealth Chili, the channel where you can follow our journey setting up our source company. In this episode, we'll take a look at pepper grow light and what colour lights peppers need. Before we do that, can you just smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification and you'll keep up to date when we release our next video. Right, roll that intro. This video is part of the Beginner's Guide to Growing Peppers playlist and if you're planting seeds indoors, whether you're going to take them outdoors or you're going to keep on growing them indoors, then you're going to need a grow light of some kind. Now this episode, because we're getting to a thousand subs, we're going to do a giveaway. Um, so we're going to give away uh, one of the Mars Hydro TS 600s. Um, thanks to Mars Hydro for sponsoring this episode. So Mars Hydro are a superb company that, in my opinion, create some of the best grow lights to grow your peppers. So as we said, we're going to be giving away the TS600. Um, all you've got to do to be in with a chance is to look out for three hashtags that I'll be showing throughout the video. So there'll be uh, three hashtags coming up on the screen. All you've got to do is remember those three hashtags and write a little comment down below with the hashtags in it and why you think you should win the grow lights. So to begin with, let's take a look at the sun is light spectrum. So as you can see, there's a good mixture of all colours at a very high intensity between 60 and 100. Now that's the ideal growing condition. The plants have evolved over millions of years to make the most of that available light, as well as the visible light, blue, green, yellow and red. Um, you can see to the left of the blue, you have ultraviolet, and to the right side of the red colour, you've got the far red, or as we call it, infrared. Now, no matter what these grow light manufacturers tell you, each part of the spectrum plays its part in a healthy growth. So the red and blue parts of the spectrum are the most important for the plant to create its chlorophyll. But um, if you have a little bit of all the colours of the spectrum, then you'll have a, a better grow. So when choosing a grow light, you want to choose a grow light that mimics the sun spectrum as close as possible. But as well as that, you want it to be efficient. Um, what I mean by that is uh, sometimes a light will lose most of its energy from creating heat and uh, you don't want that or else you'll be wasting money on electricity. So let's take a look at some sample spectrums. If you look at the incandescent and the halogen bulb spectrums, then you will see quite a lot of infrared light is created and um, infrared as you know lets out a lot of heat that's why they make heaters infrared heaters so it's uh, not very efficient at all the fluorescent bulbs wavelength has a mixture of blue green yellow and red with a little infrared which means it's quite efficient but it doesn't have much red in it whereas the cool white and warm white uh, led have a good mix of all four main colours. If you've liked the video so far guys, can you just uh, hit that like button for me? It'll uh, help me more than you know. Next we'll look at what colour light peppers need and why. As I said before, the most important lights are the blue and the red, but you need far less blue than you do red. So red light is essential for stem growth and leaf expansion. It's also used in seed germination and to regulate flowering. So blue light is responsible for the growth of your plant. Um, if you were to grow a pepper plant just in red light, then it'd end up tall and lanky, like it's searching for light. But if you put too much blue light onto a plant, then it'll stunt the growth and uh, stop it from growing at all. 
So you need to make sure there's uh, about 25% blue light in your total light uh, mixture. Now the green and yellow light, what that tends to do is it goes through the top leaves. So it penetrates through the top leaves and reaches down to the bottom leaves and helps support them. And the infrared or far red light does that as well. And if you're just starting your plants inside and you're thinking about taking them outside, um, then a little bit of UV light wouldn't be amiss either. Uh, because what that does is it kickstarts the plant into creating its protective oils and uh, that will stop it from uh, getting sunburn when you take the plants out. Then finally, as well as supporting the lower leaves, the far red or the infrared light, um, you can add a little bit um, at the start in the morning and uh, add a bit at the night time. So you put your main lights on put the red colour for about an hour in the morning and then an hour at the evening at either side of the light and uh, that will aid in flowering. So I did just that to um, give the plant a push into flower production. Um, you just uh, pop the red light on um, just before the main light goes on and then as the main light goes off then uh, pop the red light on for an hour or so after as well. So as you can see there, um, there was no flowers on my Dragon's Breath plant when I started. And uh, after a week, you can already see some flowers forming. Next, we'll take a look at my setup. So we'll start off with the Aero Garden Bounty. I use this mainly for seed starting and the 40 watt white, red and blue grow light is great for this. Um, you can lift up the light as your seedlings grow and the fact that there is no soil in there um, helps me speed uh, up the germination. When the plant gets a little bit bigger then I'll move them over to my Vitapod and on there are two Sunblaster Nanotech T5 reflectors and some fluorescent bulbs from Sun Blaster as well. Now these fluorescent bulbs put out a little more blue light than your normal fluorescent bulb and this keeps the plant compact and strong until it's ready to go to its next home. Now after this you could take your plant and put it in a polytunnel or a greenhouse um, but what I'm going to do this year is take them all the plants to my new indoor grow unit under some great lights by Mars Hydro. So this is the Mars Hydro SP250 and the SP250 and SP150 are some of the best lights that you could buy in 2019. So that's just what I did. The lights came with some ratchet style hanging clips which is handy. Um, you can use it to lift or lower your lights as the plant grows. It only draws 230 watts and comes with a meanwhile driver with a section in the cord that you could use to extend the cable. This beast has 734 pieces of LEDs covering the full spectrum with a mixture of warm white, blue, red, infrared and ultraviolet LEDs. 
it's really easy to hang with the ratchet hangers included and um, even though you can't see how bright this is it really packs a punch if it's so good why did i only say that it's one of the best you could buy in 2019 surely it's the best you can buy in 2020 isn't it well no that's because at the end of the month they have an even better light coming out the sp3000 and this is a beast at 300 watts it's much brighter and it's had a major overhaul they've swapped out the epistar chips or samsung and awesome chips so they'll last a lot longer there's also over 200 more leds on the sp3000 and you get more red spectrum for maximum growth they have also made it possible for you to daisy chain up to 15 lights and you can use the added dimmer switch to dim down the whole daisy chain at the same time and i can't wait to get my hands on one so i can do a side by side comparison between the sp250 so before we wrap it up i'd like to talk about two more grow bulbs that you use to uh, grow plants with the first one is a hps bulb as you can see on the spectrum it has a load of mid colors including green yellow and red if you want to supplement your leds with extra mid spectrum then you can run a hps or high pressure sodium vapor light next to your led and finally there's the CFL or compact fluorescent light. These can be a great source of light if you haven't got much room for a big light. I've used them before and they're okay. Obviously, the more you spend on a CFL um, built especially for growing plants, then uh, the better the spectrum will be. So that's it for this video. But remember to comment below with the three hashtags you've seen throughout this video and a sentence saying why it should be you winning the grow light. I'd like to thank my patrons and I'll just pop a link to the beginner's guide to growing peppers up there. So we'll see you on the next one. But remember, if you're going to go hot, go super hot.